The casting for the ghost and Mr. Chicken was a careful process. Don Knotts, known for his comedic timing, was a natural choice for the lead role of Luther Heggs. The producers wanted someone who could bring laughter and a bit of nervous charm to the character. For the role of Alma Parker, Joan Staley was selected because she had a warm presence that balanced Knotts' jittery performance. The chemistry between Knotts and Staley was tested and proved to be strong, which was crucial for their on-screen relationship. For the part of Kelsey, the janitor Liam Redman was chosen for his ability to portray a friendly yet mysterious character, which added to the film's spooky atmosphere. The casting team looked for actors who could handle comedy as well as suspense, ensuring a blend that would entertain audiences of all ages. Each actor brought their own unique style to the film, making it a memorable comedy horror classic. In the 1966 movie The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, the director Alan Rafkin brought the story to life with a light-hearted and comedic touch. He was influenced by classic horror films, but gave it a twist with humor to appeal to a wide audience. His style was to create a spooky yet funny atmosphere that would entertain without frightening viewers. Rafkin worked closely with actor Don Knotts, who played the lead role, to develop a character that was both scared and heroic. The collaboration with the cast and crew was key to making the film's unique tone work. They used bright colors and exaggerated sounds to make the scary parts less intense and more amusing. The music, composed by Vic Mizzy, also played a significant role in setting the mood, using quirky and whimsical tunes to complement the film's spirit. Rafkin's approach made the movie a memorable comedy that still brings laughter to audiences today. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken is a classic comedy that came out in 1966. It tells the story of Luther Heggs, a typesetter who spends a night in a haunted house to prove he saw a murder there. This movie is full of laughs, surprises, and even a few touching moments. As you watch, you'll find out some interesting facts that might shock you, make you laugh, or even tug at your heartstrings. I remember the first time I watched this movie, it was a fun experience that brought a lot of joy. It's one of those films that sticks with you because of its humor and heart. Do you have a special memory of the ghost and Mr. Chicken? Maybe it was the first movie you watched with friends or something that always cheers you up when you're feeling down. We'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to this film, so please share them in the comments below. The 1966 film The Ghost and Mr. Chicken had a creative set design that brought the spooky and humorous atmosphere to life. Filming took place in various locations, including the famous Victorian-style Simmons Mansion, which served as the haunted house. This house was actually the Harvey House in the historic railroad town of Florence, Kansas. The production team faced challenges like ensuring the mansion appeared eerie and managing the logistics of filming in a small town. They used innovative techniques for the time, such as special lighting effects to create ghostly appearances and sounds that were new to audiences, adding to the film's charm and humor. The use of these techniques helped make the movie memorable and enjoyable for viewers. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken is a delightful comedy that captures the essence of small-town America in the early 1960s. Don Knotts delivers an exceptional performance as a timid typesetter who stumbles upon a mystery in an eerie, abandoned mansion rumored to be haunted. His portrayal is a testament to his comedic talent, which stands out as unique and timeless. The film is a family-friendly affair, free from any offensive language, and it maintains a consistent grip on the audience's attention. Joan Staley plays the love interest, aiding in the unraveling of the haunted house's secrets, while Dick York and other skilled character actors provide strong support. The movie, marking Don Knotts' first role after his departure from The Andy Griffith Show, offers a blend of humor and suspense that appeals to both fans of haunted house tales and those who appreciate a good laugh. It's a film that invites viewers to a nostalgic look back and serves as a comforting watch that can be enjoyed repeatedly. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken stands as a charming piece of cinema that showcases Knott's ability to carry a film with his unique brand of humor, even if it occasionally feels like an extended sitcom episode. Dick Sargent also makes a notable appearance, adding to the film's appeal. Overall, it's a movie that Don Knotts enthusiasts will find particularly enjoyable, though it may not resonate as strongly with a broader audience. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken's music was crafted to fit the lighthearted and spooky theme of the film. Vic Mezzi, the composer, created a score that matched the comedic and mysterious moments on screen. 
The main theme is memorable for its catchy tune and use of the organ, which adds to the haunted house setting. The musicians recorded the music with care, making sure each note supported the story's mood. The soundtrack plays a big role in making the audience feel the suspense and laughter the characters experience. It's a good example of how music in a film can guide the audience through the story, making the experience more enjoyable. In the world of comedy and suspense, the film in question stands out for its memorable catchphrase of Taboy, which echoes throughout the story. This phrase is directed at various characters, creating a recurring motif that adds to the humor and charm of the narrative. Charles Lane, known for his recurring role as a client on the television show Bewitched, brings his unique presence to the film. Meanwhile, Don Knotts, a respected member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, showcases his talent, contributing to the film's lasting appeal. The interplay of these elements contributes to a delightful experience for audiences. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, directed by Alan Rafkin, showcases the comedic talent of Don Knotts as Luther Heggs, a typesetter with aspirations of becoming a reporter. In a memorable scene, Heggs spends a night at the Simmons Mansion, which is rumored to be haunted. The direction creates a humorous yet suspenseful atmosphere as Heggs encounters various spooky occurrences. His reactions are exaggerated for comedic effect, making the audience laugh while also feeling the tension of the scene. The cinematography uses shadows and lighting to enhance the eerie setting, focusing on Hegg's face to capture his fear and surprise. This scene stands out for its blend of comedy and suspense, leaving a lasting impression on the audience. The filmmakers and actors have shared that the goal was to entertain and provide a few scares without being too frightening, aiming for a balance that would appeal to all ages. Their efforts paid off, as the film remains a beloved classic for its charming blend of humor and mild thrills. In the process of creating memorable moments on screen, sometimes the contributions come from unexpected sources. For instance, the encouraging shout of a tabloid, Luther, that audience is here was actually the voice of Everett Greenbaum, the writer himself, as revealed in Don Knotts' autobiography. In another interesting turn of events, Ellen Corby stepped into the role of Aunt Trina in the film I Remember Mama, a part initially intended for Jessica Tandy who left to work on A Woman's Vengeance. Lastly, despite widespread reports to the contrary, Philip Ober did not pass away due to a heart attack in Mexico City. Official records and news reports from the time clarify that he died from lung cancer in a hospital in Santa Monica, California. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, a 1966 comedy film, made a significant mark on audiences and popular culture. It starred Don Knotts as Luther Higgs, a typesetter who spends a night in a haunted house. The movie was well received for its humor and became a favorite, especially for those who enjoy light-hearted scares. It showed that comedy could be found in spooky settings and helped pave the way for similar movies. The film also touched on themes of bravery and the importance of standing up for oneself, which resonated with many viewers. It became a part of family movie nights and is still enjoyed by new generations, showing its lasting appeal. The movie's setting in a small town and its focus on community life reflected the social atmosphere of the time and provided a comforting watch for many. In a unique twist for a film soundtrack, composer Vic Mizzy stepped in to play the haunted organ music. His performance, less polished than that of professional organist Gaylord Carter, was chosen for its authentic feel. The music came from a notable Lauren Whitney pipe organ, which has been played by several distinguished musicians and featured in various recordings. Don Knotts, known for his comedic timing, was part of a trio including Tom Poston and Louis Nye, who regularly entertained audiences with their Man on the Street segments on a popular show in the mid-1950s. Philip Ober brought a sense of authority to his roles, often portraying commanding figures. His acting career spanned from stage to screen, where he delivered memorable performances as either a corporate adversary or a resolute military man. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, a 1966 comedy film, received warm reviews for its humor and charm. Critics praised Don Knotts for his performance as the lead character, Luther Higgs. Audiences enjoyed the mix of comedy and light-hearted suspense. The film did not receive major awards or nominations, but became a beloved classic over time. Its success helped Don Knotts establish himself as a comedic actor, and it remains a favorite for many, often associated with family-friendly entertainment and nostalgic appeal.
The positive reception of the film reflects the effective work of the cast and crew in creating a memorable and enjoyable movie experience. Behind the scenes, Andy Griffith contributed as a script consultant without credit. Don Knotts, before his acting career took off, entertained as a ventriloquist with his doll named Danny. Hal Smith lent his voice to the character Mr. Whitaker in the children's radio show Adventure and Odyssey, which was well loved by its young audience. During the filming of The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, Don Knotts, who played the lead role of Luther Heggs, was known for his ability to stay in character, even when the cameras were not rolling. This dedication helped him deliver a memorable performance that audiences loved. The set was filled with laughter, as Knott's natural comedic talent kept the atmosphere light and enjoyable for everyone involved. The director, Alan Rafkin, often allowed the actors to improvise, which led to some of the film's most humorous moments. Despite the comedic nature of the movie, the crew worked meticulously to create the spooky effects, using practical tricks of the time like fishing lines to move objects and creative lighting to cast eerie shadows. The famous haunted house, which was a central element of the film, was actually a modified facade on the Universal Studios backlot and it became a popular attraction for studio tours. The cast and crew formed a close bond during the production and many would later recall the experience as one of the most enjoyable projects of their careers. In the world of classic comedy and spooky antics, it's interesting to see how certain ideas recur over time. A notable example is an episode from The Andy Griffith Show where viewers were treated to a haunted house scenario that would later echo in a film about two years later. This particular episode, which aired in 1963, shared similar comedic elements that would become familiar to audiences in the later film, especially with the character played by Don Knotts. Moving to the architecture in these stories, there's a common misconception about the house featured in the film. Despite rumors, it's not the same building seen in the famous thriller by Alfred Hitchcock. Both houses share a resemblance because they were constructed using the same basic building blocks, which explains their similar appearance. Lastly, the concept of a ghostly organ playing by itself isn't new to fans of eerie tales. The spooky element was also part of a 1959 horror film, where the idea of a self-operating musical instrument added to the chilling atmosphere. It seems that the blend of humor and horror has a way of reappearing in different forms, capturing the audience's imagination each time. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, a 1966 comedy film, has had a notable role in film history. It is remembered for its humor, unique story, and the performance of Don Knotts as Luther Hakes. The movie has influenced comedians and filmmakers who appreciate its blend of comedy and lighthearted suspense. It has inspired similar works that combine these elements, offering a template for movies that aim to entertain and amuse without relying on heavy drama or intense action. The film holds a special place as a family-friendly movie that can be enjoyed by all ages, and it continues to be a favorite for those who enjoy classic comedies. Its approach to storytelling and character development can be seen in later films that seek to capture the same spirit of fun and adventure. In the world of classic comedy, friendships and careers often intertwined in unexpected ways. Charles Lane, known for playing stern characters, shared a warm off-screen friendship with Lucille Ball dating back to their early days in show business. Their bond formed during a time when she was just starting as a chorus girl and he was involved in musicals at RKO. Al Smith, another familiar face, began his career as a disc jockey before moving to Hollywood. There, he became a voice that filled the airways, announcing for Warner Brothers KFWD station. His work included popular shows of the time, and even allowed him to humorously reference his past during a guest spot on The Andy Griffith Show. In his later years, he revisited these memories, working alongside the son of an old colleague, bringing a touch of nostalgia to his performances. Music also played a pivotal role, with Luther Hegg's recurring musical theme echoing the tune of Mr. Ghost Goes to Town, a hit from the late 1930s. This melody, originally performed by the Five Jones Boys, added a layer of charm and familiarity to the characters on screen antics. These elements combined to create a film experience that was both humorous and heartwarming, reflecting the era's spirit and the talents of its stars. In the world of classic comedy, behind-the-scenes stories often reveal the challenges actors face. Philip Ober, known for his role in this film, was involved in a troubling personal matter. 
Lucille Ball, a respected figure in the industry, once stood up for co-star Vivian Vance, advocating for her well-being when she suffered abuse. This film's success led to a series of comedies starring Don Knotts, who became a familiar face in family-friendly entertainment. His subsequent films like The Reluctant Astronaut and The Shakiest Gun in the West continue the tradition of lighthearted humor. Hope Summers, another talented actor, brought a wealth of experience from radio and theater to her performance, enriching the film with her seasoned skills. Her background in founding and managing theater companies in Chicago showcased her dedication to the craft. These stories from the cast highlight the diverse backgrounds and experiences that contributed to the making of this memorable film. The Ghosts and Mr. Chicken is a film that has brought laughter and joy to many. If you have fond memories of watching this classic comedy, share your story. How did it make you feel? Did it spark a love for movies in you? Your experiences can inspire others to discover the magic of old films. So go ahead and post your thoughts, hit the like button, share this with friends, and subscribe for more trips down memory lane. Let's keep the love for cinema alive together.